Okay, let me get to recording this because it looks like I'm losing my son and I need natural natural light to record my video. I don't have a softbox. I'm not there yet. So, I bought a bunch of stuff during this Forest Spring VIB sale and I meant to make a haul video like right afterwards. But of course life, you know, gets the best of you and I didn't get to it. And now I bought even more stuff. Not a lot, but like a couple more few things here and there and I bought stuff from Jouer before I'd even bought stuff in the Sephora sale so I'll probably try and include everything all in this one video and so let's get started because I am losing my son so the first things I'm going to go over are the three liquid mattes I bought from Too Faced I already opened these to save time because I was fumbling so I bought um, a green lipstick called um, Wicked which is really cool I bought this dark brown, I guess you'd call it, called Evil Twin, and this mauve burgundy color called the Evil Twin. And um, I'll just do a quick swatch of them because I figured why not? You can't just show lipstick and not swatch it. So these are what they look like. All right, and so this one is, this one's Evil Twin, all right? And I'm just going to swatch it real quick here. And this is another lipstick that's below it, actually, because, you know, I got to practice first. But that's Evil Twin. And this is Wicked, which is a nice green, which I know some people are going to be like, are you serious? And this isn't even the same green that's below, but, you know. I know there's a couple people out there that love some fun colors, so that's Evil no, that's Wicked. And this is Why Not, which I wasn't even planning on buying. Then I swatched it in store and said, I don't have a color like that, so I'm buying it. And that is Why Not. So, that's the Too Faced. I bought a lot more lipstick. <laughs> and I bought three um, Kat Von D's. And if anyone's wondering why I bought so many lipsticks, it's because I told myself not to buy any in the middle of the year and to wait for the Sephora sale. So then I had all these things that I wanted to buy during the sale. So that's what happens when you try and use your coupons. You know, everything gets bunched together. So anyways, these are three Kat Von D lipsticks. And um, I got Crucifix, which is a brown. And for me, it looks like a nude. For some of you, it's probably going to look like a nice darker brown color. And then if you're like um, a black black person, woman of color, whatever. And your lighter skin than me might be like a little darker than a nude. And then I got Plath, which is um, like a brick red, I think she said online. I'm not sure. So well, let me swatch these real quick. Wicked is a black lipstick, which I know some people are, again, are gonna be like, are you, what is with these Wicked colors? Wicked colors. But um, yeah, so this is Witches. And if you haven't used Kat Von D's before, they're like one of my favorites, like top up there. Liquid lipsticks. Like I honestly don't think you could go wrong buying anything from her. This is Plath. <clears throat> Should drink some water first. I'm struggling. So this is Plath. And like I said, it said it's supposed to be a brick red, I think. I'll have to research. I should have looked it up before. <laughs> Maybe when I take a little break to get my other stuff on this little makeshift table I have here, I'll see. And then this is Crucifix, which is the brown. I love the sun wants to come out. Sun will come out tomorrow. And that is Crucifix. That name's kind of like... Kevin Wondi got some funky names for her stuff. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. So anyways, those are the matte, all those six lipsticks are matte lipsticks. Um, I got two of these Vice special effects things, which honestly, like, they required me to buy other ones because they're supposed to go on top of your matte lipstick. I mean, I think maybe you could use it on top of normal ones, but the way I've seen everyone else use it, it's on top of mattes. And you can also wear it by itself. But um, I watched um, this one YouTuber called Atlee. It's like A-T-L, three E's and a Y, I think. And she used 
two of the well she had swatched all of them but two of them really captured my eye and I was like I need those so I got circuit which is this teal color and I got um reverb which is this like purpley you can see that and this is what the packaging looks like looks a little ugly since I open it and yeah so that's the vice special effects um the reeve mm, let me make sure the circuit i saw her swatch this with requiem from anastasia beverly hills and i have been dying to get my hands on that i'm just waiting for it to come to sephora so i can get my sephora points you know so well it's not really say money it's more like make the most out of your money because then at least i can get like points and get rewards for it and then i got um so reverb reverb she used this with the witches and that's specifically why i bought that because of black with this purple on top yes definite definite like when we doing that soon all right so nearing the end of the lipsticks that don't even count you away but um i got huda beauty's um spice girl and this is the packaging it's really cute I like the packaging and you just push it out like this I cheated I've used this because everything that's a lie I was gonna say I haven't used any of these other lipsticks but I have <laughs> but this one I've used countless times now and honestly if you're a dark skin girl like me you're gonna love this lipstick it's like a really good nude you don't even need a lip liner like you could use a lip liner but I did it and it's really good this is really strong though. I'm gonna warn people. It's I don't even know the description. It's just really sweet. It smells like cake batter or something. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm bad with smells. I'm running out of space on my hand. So I'm gonna swatch it here next to I think this was why not. So this is oh, the camera's picking it up. But I don't know how the lighting's going now. But that's why this is um spice girl from huda beauty and it smells good just strong and i really like the formula for this and honestly i've cheated and used all of these lipsticks except um a couple of them and all of them i've loved the formula I've had no issues wasn't patchy or anything so yeah thumbs up and then I bought Bites Kale, which is what swatched over here at the end. And I know people are like, why? Why do you keep buying these funky, funky colors? But one, I like green. I love it, actually, maybe. I don't know. And um, Bites formula is just awesome. If you've ever used Bite, you know how soothing and nice their lipsticks are. These are not matte, as you can tell, probably, because it's, it's like a normal lipstick but it's got like a lemony scent to it and then the whatever ingredients they have in it it feels like you're wearing like a chapstick like something that's helping your lips not just like laying on there and kind of doing nothing so but this is the what the lipstick looks like it's really cute really cool and open it this is what the lipstick looks like and like i said that's what's swatched here at the end so I already swatched that one. All right, so that's the end of the lipsticks from Sephora. So, but um, I got a new concealer. I got NARS um, Radiant Creamy because I've heard so many wonderful things on YouTube. So I bought the Radiant Creamy concealer, and um, I got it in dark. Oh, it's in Cafe. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. So it's in Cafe, and I got this one's like a. I got it like in a highlighting type so not one that's my exact shade but one that um will help to highlight like the center points of my face and it blends out really nice doesn't look like off-putting or like if it's off-putting that's a really strong word it doesn't look like overly ashy or anything like that so I really like that it's been great I've been using it for the last couple weeks because I already ran out of the one I was using before which was the Sephora brand and it was awesome so don't sleep on Sephora I also got the Stella Magnificent Metals Eye Thingy, which I think a lot of us have been seeing on Instagram if you've been 
if you're another um, beauty Instagram follow person like me. So this is the product and it's really, really pretty. I'm gonna have to start going to my form. Oh yeah, by the way, while I was um, getting all my other stuff, I swatched the two, um, what are they called? Special effects from Urban Decay. So that's the teal and this is the purple. And then if you couldn't see this earlier, let me, that was the nude from Huda. So let me swatch this Stilla. And I'm worried about it drying out, but wow. Wow. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, it won't dry out like the one in the store because it's not like people walking in here, opening and closing and opening. But wow, that was one swatch. Yikes. Uh oh, that's not good because that's me going, I'm gonna need more of these. <laughs> because there's, they have like dual chrome ones which they just came out with and they are beautiful. So seeing this makes me be like, I might have to pick those up. Look at how pretty my arm looks, hand looks right now. It's wonderful, isn't it? All right, so that was Stella. And, all right, let me just do the Becca highlighter, which some of you have already seen, especially my friends who are with me when I bought this. This is the Prismatic, Prismatic Amethyst. Ugh, I'm in 3LW. <laughs> if you get it, you know, wink. But, um, yeah, so this is Prismatic Amethyst, and it's like a purple. I mean, look at the packaging. Let's Becca, you know. Never disappoints. If I can open it. Alright, so this is what it looks like. And I'm sure it's like glimmering in the sun right now. This is so pretty. I mean, it's just like, how did I ever live without it? And I know like a purple highlighter. Oh, by the way, this is a highlighter if some of you don't know. But, um, a purple highlighter is, like, really... But I've worn it a couple times, and it doesn't look as crazy as you think. I think it's because it's been formulated so nice. It's not chunky. It's Becca, so it's not chunky. It's not gaudy or anything. It's just, like, a very nice sheen, and it's purple. It just happens to be purple. <clears throat> All right. So, I also got this, and I bought this purposely in store so I could get, like, the little tote bag, which I'll get in a second for free and it's like you know one of those things where you're like I need to get the tote bag but why is that I don't really use tote bags that much but anyways this was on clearance so that's why I picked it because I was like buying my huge all my stuff online but um they had it on clearance I got it for if I remember correctly like $30 I think it was $30 after the 10% from the sale I looked it up this thing is worth 50 Something like that. It might have been even over 50. I don't know. Because it does have like half of it is Too Faced and half of it is Kat Von D. And honestly, Too Faced eyeshadows. I know like their bonbons and their chocolate palettes people really like. But the new stuff they've been putting out, like that glitter thing. I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to have to side eye that. But um, Kat Von D is like, like I said, can't really go wrong with her. I bought this purposefully too. Just so because it's a full size um tattoo eyeliner and full size better than sex mascara and those two are so good they are so good um so good they're so good <laughs> i'm my own you know comedian so um this is what the eyeshadows are <laughs> still cracking up at myself and um yeah like i love the mascara love the eyeshadow love the eyeliner and love the mascara oh my god let me get it together and um yeah let me open this i'm actually not open this at all so it's gonna be like a first impression b and i know this is magnetic because i realized that in store because i almost broke it so it like comes apart yeah there <laughs> i was like it, it comes apart there that is really cute though i like that that's really cute so this is the eyeshadow palette and okay we're separating this because i'm not dropping it so this is a Kat Von D side, and this is just really cute. I might have to try this this weekend. And that red, I mean, I don't know if the light's picking up my eyes really well, but I'm using, my eyes right now are all melt. Um, I use the dark stack, the dark matter stack, and the, I think I used all three actually. I think I used dark matter, rust, and the um, love stick stack. But anyways, back to this. 
I love reds, so I'm really going to be trying that one out. And then there's, this is a Too Faced side. And, yeah, I mean, uh, we'll see. That's all we're going to say. We'll see, right? <laughs> so that's it together. This is really, really cute, though. I, I'm not even going to try. Yeah, because I think you sh should be able to open them, like, together. And then here's... The tattoo eyeliner, which you will never get. A sh okay, let me not say never because I don't. I haven't tried every eyeliner out there, but I swear I've gotten the crispest, crispest, most crisp point from that one. It's awesome. It's awesome. And then <laughs> the better than sex, better than sex mascara. This is like awesome. Wow. Let me you know up my vocabulary here. I'm like struggling. <laughs> All right, so that is the Too Faced collab. There's like a sheet back here or something. Okay, oh, it's in French. All right. <laughs> I took French in uh, high school, though. Right. So then now I'll go over the two brushes I got. Well, one's a brush set and one's an actual one silver brush. So I bought this on the clearance section in the Sephora online it's Hakudo Sephora I'm butchering it I don't wanna like mess it up so that's the name let's talk about packaging here I mean yikes this is beautiful look at this red man like oh huh, look at that I won't even touch it it's supposed to be a highlighting brush I bought a new one I wanted a new one because um the one I'm currently using from it's not even here so I don't know I'm turning to the side it's from Real Techniques and it's kind of like falling apart, I think. I don't know, not falling apart, but like the bristles are kind of falling out. And on top of that, I also wanted to um, try a different type because different types of highlighter brushes give you different types of effects. And some of them are better for different types of highlighters. So yeah, so I got this one. And then I also got yikes, this thing, which I'm so excited about. It's just pretty. Like, honestly, this is one of those where I was like, it's just pretty, so I'm gonna buy it. You know, why not? Why not? Okay, this is cute. This is really cute. I might see this wrapping. One of my friends, you know, look out. You might see this on a future present or something. <laughs> so, this are the brushes. Okay, guys, like, please tell me somebody else is gonna run out there and buy these. Like, look at this. These are so. Okay, let me. I use open the pink one. I don't want to take all of them out. Maybe I will. Uh, ooh, yes. I mean, I don't want to put on my face because there's makeup on it, but oh lord, I don't know what they made this out of, but excellent. And then like it's got like a unicorn handle on there, so. All right, so all right, so I see that the last part I just checked and saw that um some of it, I'm like checking the sun now. It was like washed out, so I am going to just really quickly show that stuff over again, like not in detail or anything, but in case you couldn't see it, and I think the sun's gonna come back out and like ruin my thing. But yeah, so that was this part, and let me just show the inside really quick because I know it was like white washed so hopefully everyone can see this now sun is trying to ruin my thing man all right and that was the cat bondy side all right so that was that part and then um and this was what the packaging looked like too i mean everything was just gleaming when i just checked i was like oh wow so no one was seeing anything it's just whiteness <laughs> and then i know these things were like completely gleamed out like the sun was just completely all washing them out so now hopefully you can see all these colors and then these are the um opposite sides so like the um unicorn horns unicorn horns and then this was the wrapping paper that i was getting going over it's so cute all right so that was that part i don't even know where i was now I think, or then, I mean, I bought this. This was me restocking. Um, this is Urban Decay D-Slick setting spray. 
I mean, it's the only one I've ever used. I was gonna use, I was thinking of buying the Boccia Charcoal Spray, but the um, Sephora girl told me that, um, like, you couldn't see it. And they redesigned it, but um, the Sephora girl told me that um, the charcoal from the Boccia um, setting spray does leave white dots, which I was suspicious about since the spray was white. So, but hey, uh, you know, what you gonna do? So I did get this, and this is what the new, this is what the new bottle looks like. All sleek and stuff, you know? They put it in black packaging now. And then she did give me a sample of this um, Super Goop setting spray because it does have SPF in it. And I, it looks like it's a little leaking in there. <laughs> but um, I'll see I'll see about that, see if I like it because it is necessary to use SPF no matter the skin tone. Look at that. The words are muttering together. Yeah, but I do need to be using SPF and I know some people say that when it comes in makeup, it's not really in large enough amounts for it to make a difference. But I mean, I let's like at least give it a shot and see if it'll help out what and whatnot. And I do know that um for us dark skin people, or like if you're a person of color, if you do use sunscreen, then it's gonna help with the dark spots and the unevenness because that's what. Is prevalent for us is that there's discoloration you know dark spots here and there so it's supposed to help with that so I'll see about that and it looks like this one's gonna come last portion which I've been trying to record for eons now the Sun keeps shining too strong and then my camera died <laughs> all right so anyways the last portion is the skincare three of these items are items already used and I was just restocking the first I'm gonna mention is a drunk elephant glycolic night serum I've been using this for a year now. This is the second time I'm buying it. It's expensive. I'm not even gonna lie, it's expensive. I'm not even gonna say the price because if you wanna look into it, then you should. But it is it is expensive, but it's very efficient. Like I said, it lasted me for a year because I tend to use it every other night. Sometimes I use it every night, but most of the time I just use it every other night. Just one, you just twist it. This is the actual packaging and you just twist it like this in one pump and that's it. But um, I don't wanna mention the wrong thing, so let me, okay, it is, it is a, um, like, <laughs> it is a, one of those like chemical exfoliant, I guess you, I'd say, so it's supposed to help um, regenerate new healthy skin cells underneath. So um, what it says here is it's a high tech AHA, BHA, which look into that. Um, if you want to get more in skincare, AHA BHA gel that resurfaces dull congested skin by gently lifting away dead skin cells, dramatically improving the appearance of texture, uneven tone, fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. The results are greater clarity and luminosity practically overnight. So, I mean, right now at my age, I'm not really worried about fine lines and wrinkles and all that stuff, but I will say that, um, one of the YouTubers that I always tell people about, Steph Nicole, she's really into, into um, skincare and she's the one who had mentioned the serum and she said that it's really, it would be more effective for somebody with um, oily, combination oily skin, which is me. Like I'm generally more oily, I can get kind of dry like around here, but overall I'd say more like I have an oily skin tone and I feel like it's really, really helped to um, just bring down the amount of oiliness that I get over the day. I feel like I'm not coming home looking like a slick of oil is on my face and I don't know. It's really good and like I said this is one of those like I don't think I'm wrong but just research more into this if you're interested in um, the ex chemical exfoliants because when people talk about, ex talk about exfoliation they're usually talking about like the um, products with beads in it that like literally scrub your skin. These kind of things chemically work to um, generate um, new skin and softer and all that stuff. And um, it's 30 milliliters, one ounce. Like I said, it, it seems like it's small, but it lasted me a year. I bought this during the Sephora sale last year and I just bought it again. So um, yeah, like I really like it. I feel like Drunk Elephant, I have more of their products now. I have their B Hydra Gel, their Vitamin C um, serum as well, and they're made of very authentic um, natural ingredients and that's why their price is so much but like I said I've seen my skin dramatically improve and 
that's why I know for a lot of people they might think you know it's 70 bucks for a serum and yeah that's what I'm saying 70 bucks for a serum really but if your skin is actually showing improvement and I'm not buying this like once a month it ain't worth looking into if you're into it um I also got my cleanser again this is like about 30 bucks I think and again I think I buy, buy this twice a year maybe I don't know yeah cause I, yeah I think about twice a year really love it my skin's smooth and I feel like it's not a harsh cleanser this is the fresh soy face cleanser it says all for all skin types rich in amino acids gently cleanses faces and eyes and this is the box that comes in and it is um like I said it's really nicely soothing it's not strong doesn't feel my doesn't make my skin feel dry like overly dry after I cleanse because I know that's the thing with some of the older type of like you know when you're in high school you just buy like whatever drugstore and not shade drugstore stuff I my acne was a lot worse in high school like it was never knock on wood uh, <laughs> it was never severe but it was a lot worse though in the drugstore and Neutrogena, that was my holy grail, brought me, got me out of that struggle. But now in my 20s, mid 20s, it was just time for me to start looking more into skincare that's not targeted towards acne because that's what I was still using, like things that were for acne. And I was like, I don't think that's what I really need to be concentrating on. So, anyways, that's what I got. My face, just got my face washed again. I also got my um, Ole Henriksen uncover the true three-in-one melting cleanser and this is me restocking on this this once again bought it last year buying it again so it lasts me a full solid year not as expensive as drunk elephant but um this is my oil cleanser they changed the packaging and this is like super sleek <laughs> and i think it's like it's a glass i don't know <laughs> but um it's an oil okay it's got a thing I don't want to remove it because I haven't started this one yet but it's an oil cleanser and when I wear makeup so like after I'm done recording this I'm taking this off so I can eat I'm so hungry and um so when I take my makeup off I double cleanse I use an oil cleanser like I use this Ole Hen Henriksen which is like my older bottle and um I use this first it takes all my makeup off and then I wash my face with my soy face cleanser and then I use <laughs> goes on and on then i use my uh simple micellar water thanks jackie aina shout out to her one of the best youtubers out here on the game you know but um yeah then i use a simple micellar water which takes off any residue makeup that wasn't removed and then i go on and um moisturize after that so yeah so i just got this again i also got a new um mask because the rose mask from fresh that i use right now is running a little like i probably have like one or two more uses out of it so i thought i'd get a new one i did some research and ended up picking this pharmacy honey potion mask it's a renewing antioxidant hydration mask when i wa mask oh when i watched a video of it it looks really cool they put it comes with a metal thing i haven't opened this packaging yet so yeah but when i watch a video they, it comes with a med, metal spatula and you wow look at that and you're supposed to um spread it on your face and then it like it's it looks like a i don't know like you know any other kind of like just like a liquidy mask but then it turns into foam like as it sits on your face so i thought that was kind of cool okay i can't get this out I don't even, jeez Louise, they really went, okay, here, this thing is like, okay, it's on its side, right, and it was sitting like this, and then this was on its side, like, they really, oh, there's like stuff all in there, you can see that, so anyway, so this is what it ends up looking like, and this is, the spatula is really great because, um, one of the things that you worry about with these kind of things where things are in a tub is your finger going in there and contaminating the um, product because then you're introducing bacteria and that can just generate, you know, some skin problems, which none of us want. So anyway, so this is the honey potion. It's supposed to be like a hydrating. OK, let's read what it says on here. I don't want to read the whole thing. I don't, you guys can look into it more if you're into it. But um it's supposed to be, you know, like a natural tape. And that's my thing. Like if it's, when it comes to skincare, I don't mind splurging a little bit if it's going to have a, you know, natural product and 
have some good effects on my skin. This kind of feels like wood, actually. I was like, see it, feel it. <laughs> but anyway, so I will, anyone who's like actually talks to me, my friends, that sounded really lame, like I was a little lame. Anyone who talks to me. But um, I'll let them know how this goes because I have high hopes for it. I really like the Fresh Rose mask I currently use. I just wanted to do something different because, oh wow, look at that. <laughs> I just want to try something different because, you know, I think our skin gets too used to, when it gets used to something, well, any part of our body gets used to something and it stops working. Okay, I'm going to put this down. I can't close it. All right, I also got the um, charcoal scrub um, con cognac, 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 cleansing sponge with bamboo charcoal from Vosha. This is like my third one. I get one every sale. It's a nice exfoliator, like if you want to scrub a little bit, it when you wet it, it gets really puffy and it's like a gentle exfoliator. It just feels like a light sponge for your face. I don't use it every day, but whenever I feel like my skin's just like dying, like not dying, but caked with stuff, like maybe I didn't wash my face when I went to bed or, you know, something like that, then I'll go in and use this and... Yeah, I really like it. So the last thing I got was the Rahua a Voluminous Shampoo and the Conditioner. I mistakenly bought the Voluminous one. I don't need it. I don't need Voluminous. And my camera cut that part off because, you know, I'm rambling too much, so I'm going to get to it. She, um, so Hey Fran Hey mentioned Rahua um, Shampoo and Conditioner. She has like a lighter, lighter, she has a looser curl pattern than me, but um, since she's so into healthy, um, natural type of products, I was like, let me give it a shot and let me buy it during the sale, so at least I'm not paying full price for it. But um, it says it's made with um, organic and 100% natural ingredients, including Unguruha oil, lavender, and eucalyptus. Actually, let me and smell this, like, because I never opened this. Yeah, it smells like lavender, like a nice lavender oiliness. <laughs> but I got a small version of the conditioner because if you have natural hair like me, you know, okay, so let me just tell you, this is 30 bucks full price. And same for the conditioner. I think it's like 32 though. Shampoo for natural hair, for those of you who don't have natural hair, um, black natural hair, you might not be familiar with the fact that we don't use shampoo as often. Like, I shampoo maybe about once or twice a month, but I will co-wash with conditioner like every week. Or that's a lie, not every week. But you know, we can co-wash with conditioner more often than we wash with an actual shampoo. So paying 30 bucks or like just about for shampoo isn't as in eh, because this is gonna last me for probably half the year, probably more than that, honestly. When I start using it, I'm gonna mark the date and I will see how long it takes for me to finish it. Conditioner, on the other hand, I can't be spending 30 bucks on conditioner because my hair will probably eat most of this vial up. This wasn't 30 bucks. This was, see on here, I think it was like 10 bucks or a little less than that, like 10. I think with the coupon, with my um uh, code, I was able to get it for less than 10 bucks. But even then, I was just like, oh, let me just see because I wanted to see what it would look what it would do for my hair if I used both of their products together. But I was like, I'm not spending 30 bucks for conditioner because my hair eats it up, swallows it, spits it out. I mean, we need it for detangling, for like the nutrition of our hair. It's just, I can't spend that much on conditioner and I need so much of it. So yeah, so but I got these two and I will let all my natural hair peeps know how it goes once I start using it. I'm currently using, um, uh, Carol's daughter's thing and I'm like about done like I have like this much left which is probably gonna last me like three more months so yeah so that is it I don't know if this bag was caught on the video yet because I feel like every time back in frame I think I don't know if I'll turn it out uh, every time I try to show it my camera would die or I went over the 10 minutes or well, one problem or another but this is the bag. So I'm going to show it again. This is the bag that I got during the sale. And that's why I went to buy that eyeshadow palette um, on that first day of the sale. Just so I could get that tote bag. Alright, so God is telling me to shut up because the camera just switched off because it got too hot. So, 
I'm done anyways. I am done, I believe. If you have any questions, if you have any, um, if you want me to explain anything further or like do anything with any of these products, then let me know in the comments below. Good night, good afternoon, good evening, good evening. That's what I need to say. All right, see you everyone. No necesitamos nada más.